There are several ways of showing new views in SwiftUI, and one of the most basic is called a sheet, a new view presented over an existing one. Now in iOS, this automatically gives us a kind of a card-like presentation where our current view slides away into the distance and the new view animates in on top. Now sheets work much like alerts do, in that we don't say, now please present the sheet. We don't say like mysheet.present, for example. Instead, we define the conditions under which the sheet should be shown. And when those are true or false, fine, it's shown or hidden automatically. Let's try an example. We're gonna make this thing show one view from another using a sheet. First, we'll make a second view actually, before we make any state, we'll say struct second view is a view. Is that here is our body with text of second view. Nothing special about it at all. It has no idea it's being shown as a sheet, okay? It doesn't need to know it's been shown as a sheet. Now, our initial view, we're gonna have a button inside here that will show the sheet. Button, show sheet, and then we'll do some code in here saying show the sheet. Filling this in requires four steps and we'll tackle them individually. First, this is where state comes in. We're gonna add some state to track whether the sheet is currently showing or not. As with alerts, it's gonna be a simple Boolean. So I'll say at state, private var showing sheet is false. Second, we wanna to toggle that Boolean when our button's tapped. So we'll replace this show the sheet comment here with showing sheet dot toggle. Third, we're gonna attach our sheet somewhere into our current view hierarchy. If you remember with alerts, we show alerts by saying is presented to a Boolean value with a binding there, so it's presented and hidden automatically. So we'll say down for our button, we have dot sheet is presented is dollar showing sheet. Inside here is the contents uh, of our sheet. Fourth, what should go in here? What should actually be in the sheet? In our case, we already know what should be in the sheet. It's our second view. And so we can just write in here, second view. Make one of those, please. And so your finished code is simply this. So you run the program now, that's command R. We should see, show sheet. When that's tapped, it kind of fades away a little bit and the new one pops in. So we can drag away like that to dismiss. Boom. Now, when you create a new view like this one here, second view, you can pass in any parameters you want to work with. For example, you might require that second view needs some kind of name to be shown. We might say up here, uh, there is uh, let name be a string, then the text here will say hello, and then name with string interpolation. And now just saying second view by itself isn't good enough. We're gonna pass in a name string to show. For example, we might say, I'm gonna pass in my uh, Twitter username, two straws. Press command R again, I press show sheet, and boom, hello, two straws appears. Now, behind the scenes, Swift's doing a ton of work for us here. As soon as we said that second view has this name property attached to it, Swift ensures our code wouldn't even build until we pass the value in for name. Everywhere second view is used must become second view name something of the string. It eliminates a whole range of possible errors for us. Now, before we move on, I wanna do one more thing I wanna demonstrate how to make a view dismiss itself. Now you've seen, as I was doing earlier, when a sheet is shown, I can just swipe down to dismiss the view like that. That's fine. But sometimes you want to dismiss the view programmatically to make a view go away because a button was pressed, for example. To dismiss a view like this requires a fresh property wrapper. I realize the solution to almost any problem in Swift UI is, hey, here's another property wrapper. Um, anyway, this one's called at environment and it allows us to read properties from the shared environment that are provided to us externally. And there's a whole bunch of these to work with. Is the user in light mode or dark mode? Have they asked for smaller or larger fonts? What time zone are they in? All these and many, many more are values provided to us through the environment. And in this instance, we're gonna ask the environment to dismiss our view. Now this matters, right? We're asking the environment to dismiss our view because this thing could have been presented in any number of ways. Maybe it's a sheet. Maybe it's a navigation stack pushing on a thing or not a thing. We don't really know. What we're saying is, 
figure out how my view was shown and then just dismiss it in the same way. And so in second view up here, we're gonna add a new property called dismiss. I'll write at environment backslash dot dismiss var dismiss. Read the dismiss environment key from the environment. And now inside our body here, I'm gonna do button dismiss call that dismiss function. Dismiss myself somehow. When I press Command R now, I can present the sheet and press dismiss to hide it again. So we're dismissing programmatically rather than with a user swipe.